Hey guys, how are you tonight? Sorry I'm late. It's been that kind of a day. Got a little project here we're going to do. And I appreciate you all stopping by. I'm going to go in and grab some things to tag here. Y'all having a good day? Okay. We're going to work on one of my new signs tonight. I had some items that didn't come in, so we had to go to plan B. I'm going to tag my... Um, pin my new Facebook page to the top if you guys wouldn't mind checking it out okay now it's not letting me comment <laughs> so what else is new oh I'm feeling this full moon how about you I'm not trying to There we go. Now it's let me do it. Pin comment. That's what I was trying to do. Now it did it twice. We're going to be making a simple grapevine wreath tonight using one of my new signs. Whatever floats your fl flamingo. How do you guys like that? We we're going to do um, a bike um, wreath with a bike wheel, but it didn't come in. So this is my new, one of my newest signs that says stop and smell the flowers. And there actually is, well, don't tell me I lost that already. Here it is. I actually had this one designed to match this ribbon. I love this ribbon. I love greens. I love purples. So this was actually designed with this ribbon in mind. Okay. I'm sure you can check out the detail on it. My signs are $10 plus shipping. All right. So we're going to start. And this is, like I said, it's going to be really simple. So I have added these little cable tie things to the back of my wreath. This sign is um, a 7 by 9 So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to actually, well, I think I'm going to zip tie it with uh, some black tiny zip ties because they'll be kind of invisible. I just have to find the tiny ones. A nice big stock pile here and I know I had small black ones but I'm not finding them so here they are they're four inch so I hope they work if you all wouldn't mind spreading the love I'd really appreciate it spread it around a little bit because we want we want to have some fun and we want some people to share with us okay. I kind of wanted this this design to kind of just zero in on the sign. So we're going to make it very simple. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these zip ties and I'm going to tie them to the grapevine wreath. This 
should blend in pretty good. Uh, let's get rid of some of these leaves. We don't need a bunch of leaves on here. Wow, this one's really loaded with leaves. A little bit of everything. Let's trim off some of these scraggly ones. You guys have any trouble getting up this morning? I did. I did not want to get up. Especially when you just get back to sleep around 3 o'clock in the morning. hear me okay yay there you go a little bit of a late start you can tell the puppies are feeling that full moon coming on because they are really getting into everything they've dumped their water bowl about five times today getting some of the yucky stuff off here. A lot, of, a lot of leaves in this one. What do you think, Levon? We put flip-flops on the um, on the flamingo. gone for simple with this. Wanted to do a bike wheel wreath today, but the bike wheel didn't arrive. So, because we have this new sign too. <laughs> hey, Esther. Glad you can make it. I'm going to be posting um, front door florals. We did a logo for them, and her sign goes out today. It turned out so cute. Let me get some of this off the table, out of my way. All right. Hey, Missy. There's a big one here. We don't want that there either. Well, this is going to be covered up anyhow, so I don't care about some of the stuff that's still showing. We have whatever floats your flamingo. That's gone on our grapevine tonight. Had a little help from LaVon with the saying on this one. Sometimes you get in a creative slump and you can't think of anything. Now, let's see if we can do this. It's too close. Oh. Do you guys feel like you have one nerve left today and it's ready to explode? Hi, Harless. Hope you're feeling better soon. Poor Harless. There we go. The zip ties are just too small. So we're chucking them. We've got them bigger going home. I'm tired of playing with crap today. Let's see if we can get these through here. Yes! 
finally something that works today. All right. Let's take this down through here. That's what I'm going to do. Um, it has to go this way. And take it down. Down, down, down. <laughs> oh no! Don't pull the sutures. Don't do that, Harless. No, 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 bud. You'll be right back where you came from. You don't like those sutures. All right, so we got one corner. Now we're going to do the other corner. Let's see if we can get this in here. And then we'll clip it. See if this is a good spot. Now nope, it has to go in a little more. Yeah, poor guy. Twisting it downward so nothing like cuts anybody. Push it in towards the sign. Okay. Just make sure here. There we go. Whatever floats your flamingo. Alright, and I also need I need some ideas here. Okay. This is my newest one. There's a young girl who's starting the Air Force, and we decided to make one of these for her mom so her mom can put this on her car when she goes away. So maybe you guys, if you think of like a veteran one or any branch of the service I can do, um, I just, her mom, now it's got pieces of, grapevine all over it. Her mom is just going to be thrilled with this sign. I can't wait to see her face. Is that how long he has to leave the sutures in? Oh my gosh. That poor guy. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bow here and a bow here. Now, I do have well, kind of don't like that one. I do have a long-legged um, flamingo here if I want to put that in here somewhere. And see, she has flip-flops on. And that's... Now this sign, what'd she do to me? Ugh. She must have put it on the wrong sign. But one of them, we use this for a license plate and another sign, and I bet you they're on the other ones, they're not on this one. Breathe, take a breath, and refocus. That's what I keep telling myself today. I am so agitated with everything. All right, so what color what color um, bow do you think we ought to go with on this one? We're going to do two. I think this is pretty. It has green in there. It has yellow. It has watermelon. It has beach balls. Um, I have this, which has the flamingos on it. It's got some hint of purple, so we can use that. I'm not sure if I want to use that. We've got that pink and blue. We've got pink and, uh, I want to go with maybe this one. I don't know. 
Yes, they are, Missy. Or are you answering somebody else for me? Jeez. Well, kind of liking these four. We could, we could go add this in here. I think that would be cute. So if we add that, I'm going to take out this. So let's go with these four. Let's just, let's just put a little bit of this in here. The solid pink you like? When I put the solid pink up to it, you tell me what you think. That would work. There's this one too. This one has, nah, that's too bright. I don't like that. You like the solid instead of this one? <gasps> Where'd you all go? Yeah. Missy comes through for me again. I told you, I'm, I am so out of it today. What am I looking for? Scissors. And we need a little bit of tinsel tie. But let's go with this one because I think we can disguise this better than the silver. So I think we'll do that. And I think... We're going to go smaller with this bow because I'm, I'm judging according to the, um, the size of the wreath. I don't want it overpowering. So there we go. All right. All right. So we're going to go with solid pink, the daisy, the green, but we'll go in this order. How's that? Hi, Ange. We're making a grapevine wreath, a simple grapevine wreath with the new sign. Whatever floats your flamingo. And then we are hopefully going to have the bike, bicycle wheel in by Wednesday to do this one. And if you guys have any ideas for military signs, let me know because they're next on the list. I can do wife, I can do husband, I can do dad, I can do whatever. Okay? All right. All right. work with this flamingo because it looks like everything is going in one direction. Well, maybe not. Looks like it's going to go the way I want it. But this has to go to this side. And then back this way. There we go. And then this is going to go crisscross to this side. Hey, Thelma. Get ready for your trip. And you know I don't like doing the zippy, the tie and this tie and that tie, so um, I'm going to go down this way, just through the middle, and tie it. That's all I do. It's just so much easier for me. I'm sitting there with that flimsy ribbon, I mean wire, which I can't stand. I want to get it a little tighter, so I'm going to pull tighter and twist. So I'm just going down through the middle alongside the boyfriend peg. 
and that's what I'm doing. All right, we're going to go with purple next. So we got purple in the sign. And I always think of daisies in the summer, so... I'm going to go with two of these. Again. You know what? I don't think this is going to be long enough. <laughs> uh, hi, Bobby. How are you? We're going to go, we're going to tie these two together because I know I'm going to have a little bit of a difficult time going through that grapevine. So I want this tinsel tie to be longer. And these were already pre-cut, so I had no choice. All right. Did you guys catch LeVon this weekend on Saturday? Awesome job on the egg. Okay, there we go. That's how much I want. So we'll just go back and now we'll do the purple. I do have um, the little anchors, but those anchors are kind of like light blue, purple, and I don't like the dark blue of the anchor fabric or ribbon that I have, so. All right, so again, we're just pushing it towards the boyfriend peg and twist. I know, right? Didn't she do an awesome job? I'm so proud of her. Now she's got that new logo. She's on fire. She's down in there. All right, now I'm gonna go with this green. I, I fell in love with this. I think this green is just so pretty. And I actually wanted it for the new sign to go on the bike wreath. But I love it on this one too. did fine. All right, Bobby, talk to me. Send me a private message because we know things get lost on the page here. Facebook kind of drops them and they disappear. Okay, this goes this way. I'm going to post front door floral. I just did theirs. Hey, Ty. I didn't come on right at 645. So I was running late. So that's probably why you couldn't find me right away. I want to go back and watch the Probo um, demonstration a little closer from Saturday. Okay, so I'm just pulling and twisting. All right, and then tucking this up here and up here. We're going with a smaller bow because this is not a very big wreath, okay? I've got Easter red in here. And then we're going to do a second bow also. So it's going to just be bow and signs. <laughs> oh, wow. I love the way this pops against the green. Good choice, Missy. 
Missy said solid, solid. Do solid. We're doing solid. There we go. I just love the Probo the hand because it just it just has a cleaner look to the bows. And sometimes mine aren't always even, so with this they are. And don't forget, those of you that have my signs and my gnomes, when you uh, make something with it, or if you go live, give me the heads up so we can promote you. That's the whole idea behind the group. Help promote you. I know, that's the one I want to watch, Bobby. I, I was watching it a little bit. Oh, okay, so that you're talking Sunday, and she did it Saturday. Okay, I'll go back, because I, I, I liked her page, and I'm following her now, so. I know, right? She hurt off. Oh. There was one girl at Rochester when we had the, uh, the conference up there, and she, she goes around doing it for her, and... Oh my gosh, I just love watching her. And I can't, isn't that awful? I can't remember her name. Oh, I'm so bad with names. And see with this, this tinsel tie, I can really pull tight on these. Okay, wait, this has four. So I'm gonna evenly distribute them. Two on each side of the pink bows. Okay. And then we have four of the daisy. So I'm going to try and get those in between. Nope. Yep. Got to dovetail this one. Well, this ribbon is really, it really has some punch to it. It's really holding up well. So much I'm in trouble. Oh good, then I don't feel so bad. I'm I'm horrible with names. And I have all these new puppy parents coming in to pick up their puppies and it's like, oh, what were their names? And then I have other ones coming in and I want to introduce them. And it's like I can't remember what their name was. Then you have the ones that come almost every day to see their babies there. I thought I would try something different tonight because usually what I do is I usually start out with the one and a half inch and then I do a couple rows of one and a half inch. But I really wanted this bow to pop. So that's why I went ahead with only the first three loops in one and a half and then the rest in the two and a half inch. I think it makes for a bigger bow, it makes a bigger statement. And if I wanted to, I could, it's kind of too heavy, it's not gonna work. I was thinking about putting the flamingo in there, but now when I put this on, if any of these aren't going in the right direction, I'm just going to give them another twist to get them to go in the direction I want them to go. Because there's nothing worse than seeing a bow where you got flamingos upside down. There. That I like. Boy, this is a really solid bow. Whoa. 
I'm loving it. How'd you get over there? There. Okay. So we're gonna put one of these. Hey, Susan. Awesome job on Saturday. All right. So this is our my new one of my new signs. Whatever floats your flamingo. So we're gonna put one bow up here and another one right down here. And I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna put maybe a flower in the middle there because I'm seeing that green tinsel tie. So I need to disguise that a little. But I think we did good by adding the second tinsel tie Hey, Rachel, how are you? Okay, I want to get this up a little higher. So I don't want it on top of the sign. There we go. Over here. So there we go. All right, so we got the one bow in this corner. This, if we want, we'll just tuck down in here like that. Okay, so there's our one bow and our flamingos, all except this, are going in the right direction. So That's the way we want it. There we go. I showed it, didn't I? I'm just gonna tuck that down like that. Okay, so we've got the one bow, so we're gonna do the same thing for down here. Okay. All right, so back to the drawing board. Put about the hand. We're gonna put two of these tinsel ties together. Would really appreciate you spreading the love for me if you could. So we're going to do again, oh don't tell me it's too short, it is, well we're going to find the middle and we're going to work with it because I don't want to waste it, so we're just going to do this, yeah why not. see here this way and then this way and then wherever it lands up that's where we're going to do that now uh, if you can see it oh shoot okay this is our middle what's called the boyfriend peg i'm just going down through the middle and out to the middle of this, and then I'm putting this this way, this this way, and then I am just doing one good twist. There. See? If you're not doing this, you're not doing this, you're not doing this. To me, it's for me personally, it's much easier to do it that way. Right. 
So, we did the purple next. We did two rows of the purple. it, taking our tinsel ties, just pulling towards the front and twisting once. See how much easier that is? And then tucking these up here. Green next. Thank you, Rachel. I appreciate that. Appreciate the support. Did you guys see I was uploading like video after video after video this weekend? <laughs> I had a computer, a guy in the area used to have his daughter in daycare and he does computers and he made me a computer that works and I'll tell you what I got the hang of it and I had over a month's worth of videos to add to YouTube and I just that's all I did all weekend <laughs> it is awesome to help me in my signs. It's helping me in exporting, downloading, uploading. <laughs> I got it down now. All right, and then back to, you know what's so funny? We buy these ribbons from Sims down North Carolina. These are made right down the road from me. I don't know why they don't have their outlet store anymore. That just stinks. Used to be able to go over there and pick up ribbon and all kinds of stuff. Not anymore. So I'm just twisting once. I wanted the focus all really to be on the sign. A, a, a wreath does not always have to be mesh, right? All right. Wish they'd make it so these would just stay in place. I realize they have to be removable. All right. All right, here we go. I think if I do this. Aw, you're such a sweetheart, Ty. I miss you. I miss everybody on Monday nights and Friday nights. Well, we do have an AC more, but it's leaving. The gentleman who owned AC more passed away and his, I guess, family doesn't want to be bothered with it, so they're liquidating it. Here's the sign we were going to do tonight, stop and smell the flowers. That was made to match this ribbon, but the bike wheel never came in. And then we're now doing military license plates, children's signs. 
my uh, grandchildren have inspired me with the room signs. I miss you too, Aster. Oh, Sue. You're gonna make me cry. I had to concentrate on me and things were just getting out of control. So we have to talk about those two designs. The um, the cheetah print and the ladybug print. So, okay. Okay, so we got one on one side, one on, there we go. All right. <sighs> Fluff this up some. Really? Ours was really nice, and the people that worked there were really awesome. I'm going to miss it. Because then we just have Michael's. Nearest Hobby Lobby is Harrisburg, and that's quite a drive for me. So, that's not going to happen. Here, there we go. It's so stiff. It's biting me. Good canvas ribbon. But whoa. Is it tight? There we go. Flamingo was getting in the way. Still is. <laughs> All right, some of this has to. There we go. There we go. That's what we like. Got some stubborn bows here, along with some stubborn puppies. They've been dumping their water bowl all day long. Oh. I keep telling them it's going to be a two for one sale real soon if they don't rise up. There. This needs to go over there. There we go. Yeah, I, I do like Michael's florals. It's just AC Moore had stuff that Michael's didn't. So it's going to be hard. I've been up once or twice and it's we still got stuff in there. But I'm going to miss it. So I went there a lot. This is not looking right. This has to, okay, that's there in between that. All right, this one has to go over here. That's where the hold up is. There we go. All right. All right. I know, right? Oh boy, that would be nice, Bobby. To be able to shop there. Can you go there or do you just shop online? been watching Dre. Is that who has that, Dre? Devon got me watching her. Oh, wow. Got to plug in my computer, it's about ready to die. There, 
There. This computer is a monster. It's it's so big, but I love it. I can actually see what you guys are typing. <laughs> So I want these all to go in the same direction, so I'm going to twist that that way and twist this this way so we don't have upside-down flamingos. And we'll put that going that way. There. Now I'm happy with it. Whatever floats your flamingo. Now I think this kind of cheapens it, so I'm going to leave that out. But if I wanted, I could put a little bit of this in here. Look, there's pit berries. Vaughn likes when I jack it up with pit berries. Right, Vaughn? Just something to bring out a little more of the pink and the green. I think this will be good. Yes. These were from Joann's. Okay. So I think maybe this one I'll just have going down like that really can't see that there. Right here, maybe. There we go. I'll go back in and take the tags off and glue those in place. All right, we're done. What do y'all think of my new sign? These are available. <laughs> you know what they are. We taught you. I don't think I don't think I need another one up here. Do you? Does it look better with one up here or two up here? What do you think? And see that didn't take too long. All we did was do two of the corners with the cable ties. Just mounted this. This is a smaller wreath. This one is a 14 inch grapevine. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. I, like I said, I wanted the emphasis to be on the flamingo sign. And I think this just complements it, the pink and green. Take these off. Just something simple. And again, if you guys have any ribbon or anything that you need a sign for, let me know because we can do it. You like it just on the bottom, the pit berries, not on the top? Like that? Or just one up top? So we have the triangle, you know? What do you think? Yay to the triangle? You helped me with that sign, baby. We were coming up with all kinds of <laughs> sayings to add to that sign, weren't we? I think I want to go just a little higher so we can see more of the flowers. There we go. Now see, with this, you could add sunshine, you could add beach balls, you could add watermelon. One on the top, Susan? I think so, too. Just one up here. So then we have our triangle. 
right? There we go. Super simple. Two bows, a sign, and three picks. You can't, you can't, um, you can't go wrong. It's just simple. It's beautiful. I think it's kind of elegant with this. I love this ribbon. And I noticed I don't have a lot of purple in my my ribbon stash, so it took me a day and a half to find this one. I lost it in the house. Thank you, Bobby. Yeah, I think, and I like the suggestion of the solid pink. That was a good idea, Missy. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. My signs are all $10 plus shipping. Um, I shipped out one sign today, and it only costs like $3 to ship it. It comes packaged in cardboard, bubble wrap, and a real pretty plastic um, bag. Aw, thank you. That's so sweet of you. Well, hi, Peggy. Welcome from Florida. So again, if you guys come up with any military signs or anything, please, please um, give me some ideas. You have a family saying that you say all the time and you want it on a wreath. Give it to me. It is, the sign is um, nine by seven. And this is a 14 inch wreath base. So we use the cable ties, one in this corner, one in this corner. I have yet to find a hole punch that holds up and, you know, so I've been using the cable ties. Now, the cable ties, if you use the E6000 glue, they stick fast. And the, ca the cable ties, I can get my, um, you know me and my tinsel ties, I can get my tinsel tie right through there because I buy my tinsel tie in big, long packets. Signs, they run um, $10. Shipping sometimes, depending on where you are, is between $2 and $4. I just, I sh I'm shipping out two gnomes tomorrow, two signs, another sign. And I had a request for um, a license plate that says, I'm a Yorkie mom. So I got to get working on that. But just simple pieces of the grapevine are like <laughs> adhering to the sign through static but yeah and I have another flamingo sign that's coming out and there's also a f if you know somebody that loves flamingos we also have it in um, license plate size which is 12 by 6 and you can put the name in the middle or whatever right so with the bow and all this probably cost me 10 these picks were $1.99 and half off of that so um, one two three four dollars maybe in that I don't know what the wreath base was so I'd say under $20 you have a really unique sign something that's nice So you guys need to send me some of your ideas. You have a ribbon. You can't find a sign to match it. Send it to me. If you're interested in a logo, and all you have to do is tell me your favorite colors, what you envision on the sign. You all saw Levon's and Missy's. Well, Missy, we just added um, the border to it. But then she got an apron to match. And there's some fridge magnets. So, but yeah. All right, look for me on Wednesday afternoon if I survive tonight and tomorrow with these puppies. <laughs> They're really pushing their luck. Believe me, it's been an adventure. I have some leaving this weekend, some leaving the following weekend, and some leaving the following weekend. 
there's still some available. I don't know. Maybe we ought to add some purple in here. I have these purple ones that are really pretty. Maybe I'll add a little purple in too. Just one stem. Cut it into three here. Let's do that. Let's add a little pop of purple. Just right behind the pink. Yeah. Let's look into. I don't know. Nope. I think we're better off just leaving it alone. Maybe I'll just put these little things in. Okay, these little purple balls. Nope. Leave it. Quit messing, right? All right, guys. Hopefully by uh, Wednesday, my bike wheel will be in. And we can do the bike sign. Stop and smell the flowers. And Yvonne, Levine suggested the color of the tires um, because she has ribbon that matches those tires. See, that's what we can do for you. Give us an idea and we match it for you. Okay. Well, somebody's beating on somebody up there. I can hear them. <laughs> they are just bugging the heck out of each other. Jeez. <laughs> All right, I'm walking away. Ta-da, walking away. I have yet to find something. I'm gonna have to create a sign to go with this ribbon because I've had this ribbon forever and uh, I need to do something with that. So I'm walking away. All right, guys. I thank you for joining me. I hope to see you on Wednesday. And like I said, if you have a request for something in the meantime, um, don't hesitate. Give me a buzz. Are you? Oh, cool. In fact, the guy when I was asking him, it was so funny because he's a local guy and I'm like, I need a a bike and he, a bike wheel and he said well you have to bring it in to match it I said no I just want the wheel I don't want the tire I just want the wheel so yeah <laughs> he was not sure about me but he knows that I do stuff so I'll, I'll send him a picture when I'm done Heck, he might need a license plate for his business. I'll sell him a license plate. All right, guys. I got everything messed up around here. You want 20 of this? You got it, baby. You need to, I know you told me you wanted two signs, but then I wasn't sure if you wanted the bike sign too. So send me your order. And you need the cheetah print. It's right here. We sell that by the yard. With this I found, okay, because it is the gross grain ribbon, I would turn it down once and turn it down again and tap it with the uh, with hot glue. Or get that fray check. That fray check looks like clear glue that comes in a little clear bottle with blue printing on it in the fabric store. You can't find this. I had, I had a lady that had some and I bought almost all she had. So, We've got that, and this one, this runs $1.25 a yard, okay, but look at that. Why do they do that? I hate when they do that. And you know what? I thought this would be awesome, okay? Levon knows me because I used to do this all the time. I just make three little bundles like that. When I have leftover ribbon like that, and then I pinch it, and I just put it in as a little accent in the wreath. 
I just attach this actually to like a, a dowel. You just wrap a little ribbon around here, or if you have one of those floral things, and it just makes for a cute little pop of color here and there. I do that with all my little pieces of ribbon. So we've got that too. And then we have the bunny, the bunny ribbon to go with the, um, with the bunny gnome, the bunny sign. And we also have the um, Easter egg ribbon, the wired gross screen Easter egg ribbon. And that matches the Easter sign, the gnome Easter sign. Okay. But there we go. All right. So think of what you want to see in a sign. Maybe I should hold a contest. All right. We'll do a contest. You give me an idea of what you want to see in a sign. And we'll post it, and the one that gets the most votes wins the sign free. How's that? I think that would be an awesome idea, don't you? Oh my gosh, you should hear them up there. I better go. <laughs> it's probably Poopville. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for spreading the love. And uh, I'll see you on Wednesday if you're around. All right, good night.